Hello and welcome to another Premiere Pro tutorial video by Profile Tree. In today's episode I'm going to be taking you through the four color gradient and explaining why it can be useful um, to boost your or enhance your editing. Um, so let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is actually to create an adjustment layer. So how to do that is we're going to go down to this little space here. We're going to click on new item. We're going to scroll all the way down to adjustment layer and click that. And we're going to keep it the same size as our uh, sequence. Um, so keep the sequence settings the same. So I'm going to keep my 1920 by 1080 um, and keep it 50 frames per second as that's the frame rate that I'm editing with today. So I'm going to click OK. So there we are. And then we just drag this into the empty space in our sequence. Okay, and then I'm just going to hover over that. So this is where we're going to put our four color gradient. Um, so as we know, we're going to go up to effect. Um, if you can't find that, it will be also on the top panel. So just click that and you should get it. And then we're going to search for four color gradient. So go ahead and drag that on top of your adjustment layer. Give it a second to adjust and load. And there we go. So now we're going to go to our effect controls, just here. And here you will see your four color adjustment or your four color gradient, which has been put on your adjustment layer. So now what we're gonna do is play it the blending mode so a couple of them can work quite well the one I tend to use is the hard light um, I think this is quite a good one to use um, and you can play about with the opacity to bring it down slightly bring it up and um, you can change the colors maybe a bit softer But depending on what kind of atmosphere you're trying to create, it definitely can be quite an effective adjustment to your sequence. So if I go ahead and firstly, I'm going to render the effect. Okay, so the adjustment layer has now rendered and we can go ahead and watch it. So it's just quite a nice touch to have the four different colors. Um, another blending mode which is quite good to use is the overlay. Um, so once it loads you'll see, see how it changes quite dramatically. So we can change the opacity, bring it up a little um, and then play about with our X and Y axis as to where the color is. So if we bring this up to 100, we will be able to see exactly where the colors are moving to. And as it's quite high quality footage, it's just taking a little second to load, so just bear with me. Um, but yeah, just play about and see what looks best. So feel free to explore the different blending modes. Um, they're all good for different things, obviously, or they wouldn't exist. So definitely play about with those. Um, play about with the different colors and positions. You can even mask using the free draw Bezier, which we've um, touched on before with the masking video. Um, so you should be able to use that by now. Um, and different masks here, as we can see. Um, another thing is, obviously, we can see the timers here on the left-hand side, so we can animate. Um, using our keyframes so feel free to do that um, that can be quite useful as well um, but yeah just use your art artistic eye and try and keep it um, as crisp as possible don't go over the top as it's never good to have too much vibrant color um, spoiling your video um, 
So that's all for today's tutorial. Thank you very much um, for watching as always. Um, please leave any comments or questions you have in the comments section below and we will get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.